15 array list mystery one with this practice it problem i'm not going to do every single one of these but i'll show you how to do the first one um, with this code and i'm actually going to not just do it for you i'm going to explain how we can um, create this output that's going to be right here so first we start off with our method public static void mystery one so we know it's static it's not returning anything it's called mystery one we have a parameter here array list with its type being an integer. So it's gonna hold integers inside of this array list called list. And then we have a for loop. So this is going to loop, and then we're just going to print out our list again, and that output is going to be this right here. So inside of our for loop, what do we have? Well, int i is equal to list.size minus one. So what we're doing here is getting the very last index because index is just the size of a array or array list minus one because index starts at zero, size starts at one. We're running this as long as i is greater than zero, and then we decrement i every single time. So we're gonna go from the back to the front of our list. Now, we have a check in here. If list.get, our current index, is less than our list.get, the next index to the left, we want to have a new temporary variable called element and get this variable. We're gonna to want to remove that variable but then add it to the zeroth index right here, list.add. This is a method of list. These two are both methods. This one removes anything from our list, and this one adds anything to our list. We can specify a specific index, and then we specify what we want to add. So let's do it with this one. With this for loop, we have the size, which is four minus one, so we have three as our i. i is currently three. So list.get i at three is gonna be eight. So we're gonna check if eight is less than the next one, which is one. Now we know eight is not less than one, so we're not going to be in this if statement. We completely pass over it, we go back to the header in our for loop, and we look at the next one. So we decremented i, so now i is equal to two. So um, i is equal to two, we come into this if statement, we want the element at the second index, which is now one, and we want it, we want to look at the next one, right? So that's six. Now, is 1 less than 6? Yes. Yes, it is. So we're going to be inside of this if statement. We know our current element is this 1. So what we're going to do is remove it from inside of here. And we're going to want to add it to the 0th index. So it should look like 1, 2, 6, 8. Because we're just moving the 1 now. Now we have to check this again. So now we are at the first index. So um, if we have i is equal to list.size minus 1, uh, we are now at index 1 right here. So if index 1 is less than index 0, so if 2 is less than 1, which is not true, so we skip over this. Um, since we skip over it, we go back to our for loop. Now we are at the 0th index, and we're not going to run through it because, you know, it's 0 is 0. So we're done. We're done with this for loop, and we're just printing out. That's how we would do it, it's one, two, six, eight. That's how we would look at the self-check problem. Now, hopefully you do the rest, do the rest. Do it right now, pause the video, do it right now. Because if you do need help, I do have the answers here. I already coded this out earlier, or not coded it out, but went through it earlier and checked them. So it should look like 10, 30, 40, 20, 60, 50. And then this one will look like this. And that will, well, if you log in to actually do it and submit, you'll pass three out of three tests. So hopefully that makes sense. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I hope that helped.